It's ours. All right, this is your weekly read for October the 26th. This is the second video I've done, so I'm going to go ahead and read this Oracle card because I pulled this, and then we're going to find another one. Um, I was paired as I thought I was <laughs> when I started before. So for some of you guys, it says, Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moments of rebirth, which occur after a period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation, has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer and enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. Okay, let me close my blinds because <laughs> in the morning when I be working, I have to have my blinds open. And then in the afternoon, it gets too bright, so you guys can't see the cards. All right, so let's do this again. Give me, or give me a guidance for a Taurus. All right, so we have these fourth ray of harmony it says the fourth ray of harmony comes to you now with the qualities of beauty harmony and balance it empowers you to complete a spiritual initiation any conflict you experience now serves your divine purpose it will eventually become the fuel you need to be born anew something negative will be transformed into something positive the archangel gabriel helps you to receive the blessings of the fourth ray of harmony now all right <laughs> this was under there, y'all. The power of the divine masculine. Ain't that about something? All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. What messages, what guidance do we have? Ooh. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for October the 20th through the 26th, 2019. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October the 20th through the 26th, 2019. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for October the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd. Uh, all right. The 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th of 2019. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October the 20th through the 26th. Judgment. Hmm. So there could be an awakening that is happening. Could be a reconciliation that is happening. We'll see what, what's coming from that judgment. Let me just let me put these over here because I'm going to have to clarify with them. All right, so Sunday, we got Ten of Cups. Ooh, happy, 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 joy, joy. There's a lot of happiness right there. This is their offering, and Stimpy. <laughs> Temperance here. Time. It is time for you to be happy. Divine time in here. Um, for some of you guys, this could be balancing out your emotions. Queen of Pentacles here. Oh, front and center. Taurus, this is a week of you. I feel like you're awakening or you're having a re-evaluation. Two of Swords here for Wednesday. I do feel like maybe you're mentally conflicted here. Knight of Wands here. I don't know if it's mentally conflicted about something moving too fast. Maybe you're having to block something or kind of be at a stalemate in regards to something. It's Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there is some confusion here. I feel like there may be confusion. I'm going to be real with you. There may be confusion around something moving either too fast or the tempo of something. Maybe someone acting impulsively. So Saturday, we have the Eight of Wands. Whatever it is, it's going to be some communication. I feel like some of you guys are really moving into a new type of space. I do feel like there's a lot of things that you ne you're needing to evaluate or reevaluate. Judgment, Seven of Cups. This could be a reevaluation that is happening. Um, especially if you move quickly into something. You may be at a space where like, whoa, slow it down. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. All right. So Ten of Cups here. Why is this Ten of Cups here? We got King of Pentacles. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would, you, would you look at there? King of Pentacles with this Queen of Pentacles. Looks like we got a match. Ten Pentacles here. That's, that, that, that looks like a motherfucking relationship. So, Ten Cups, Ten Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I feel like you're moving forward into a relationship, and I feel like you're in alignment with this movement. Um, what is under here? 
five of swords, I do feel like there may have been some conflicts. For some of you guys, you may be moving forward into a connection with someone that you may have had some previous, uh, how do you say, mishaps with. Um, <laughs> I say mishaps because there has been some conflict in the past. Maybe a conflict about being at a stalemate or a conflict about being uh, blocked. Hmm. You may have blocked them. They could come back around to you. I don't know. So we got temperance here. Why is this temperance here? Divine time. And that is Sagittarius energy. Someone is walking away. Someone has walked away. Um, I do feel like divine time in here, someone is creating balance either after walking away because there's not actual walking away here. But I do feel like someone has walked away. Either you or someone else has walked away. I feel like there's an emotional growth, a new journey that is happening, most definitely moving forward, Six of Swords. So someone is wanting to move forward, is looking to move forward here, really finding their strength. So someone's found their strength to move forward. Divine time in here, someone feels like it's time for them to be happy. Someone wants more. Time to be happy. Time to be happy, yes. All right, so we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Ooh, and looky here, Queen of Pentacles. So this is about you being nurturing to self, choosing um, situations that make you happy. Now, some of you guys can be dealing with the Capricorn because Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, and I most definitely just, the Devil card just flew out. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. You could have some negative fear-based thoughts here. Emperor here, Star, Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Wait a minute. I got, uh, I do have some fear. No, I don't. I feel like this Devil... This devil may be, it may be fear. But if it's fear with the emperor right after that, can y'all see it? With the emperor right after that devil, if you do have fear, god damn it, there we go. With the emperor right after that devil, if you do have fear, you're not going to anymore. Someone's gaining control of the fear. Someone's gaining control of the ego. I feel like this is you maybe gaining control of the ego. Page of Cups here being inspired to kind of move forward, being inspired to... I feel like you're going to get wish fulfillment here. I feel like <laughs> I feel like somebody's following their heart with the Page of Cups. And I feel like there's wish fulfillment here. Um, I do feel like someone's gaining control of their fears. I like it. But King of Wands in the Aries. He could be dealing with an Aries as well. Why is this Two of Swords here? Knight of Wands. So there is, there is someone's restoring peace, I know. But I do feel like someone's trying to have patience because they're confused. That's the mental conflict. So someone's confused. Um, they're possibly confused maybe about an offer. They may be trying to block moving forward too quickly while trying to have um, patience while they establish their strength. But you go from being that mental conflict to the next day. It's like somebody hit a switch. Because you go from two of swords being at a stalemate mentally to knight of wands moving forward passionately. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? We have the Hangman with the Ace of Swords here. So I feel like someone is moving forward. I feel like maybe um, someone's perspective may, has, may have changed. Someone has mental clarity now. So I do feel like someone is moving forward quickly. Tower is very quickly. Ten of Swords embracing the end of some difficulties, maybe even embracing the end of some imbalances with the Six of Pentacles, maybe even embracing the end of regret. So I do feel like there is moving forward. Someone may, someone may be trying to block moving forward too quickly because they don't want to go back to the imbalances and the heartbreak. And there may be some mental conflict about that, especially if you're like on go mode. I do feel like Four of Pentacles, someone is holding back a little bit. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I feel like because they're confused. Someone's trying to make a judgment. Chariot here, Three of Pentacles here, Seven of Swords. Someone is in the space of really, now someone could be cooperating with someone else and really trying to make a decision, trying to manifest a way out of that. So that can be some confusion. I do feel like um, we got Virgo, Gemini, and Cancer here. I do feel like there may be some unstable thoughts with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, someone may be ready to work or ready to put some work in, ready to put something in motion, but the unstable thoughts are creating, are the unstable actions. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like some of you guys, you could be moving into a new connection or a new relationship or even just going into a higher ascension with your life. You may be at a mental conflict about things moving kind of quickly. Even though it is you want to move quickly, you're in a space of, wait, let's, let's just take our time, let's just see. I feel like because there's some unstable efforts or even maybe even unstable communication in regards to 
whatever scenario this is between I mean Sunday Monday too between Wednesday and Friday I feel like there may be some confusion there may be some un instability someone may be in a space of wanting to get out of that wanting to escape that and I feel like for some of you guys this instability may be coming from some sort of partnership you may be having to work with someone it could be a work situation um, or having to cooperate with someone else and may cause you to have some unstableness but I feel like you're going to be moving forward past that with the eight of one so even though this kind of iffy between Wednesday I don't see anything major I just see mental conflict about moving too fast that is causing confusion so with the eight of wands here or moving too fast into something maybe being impulsive someone doesn't want to be impulsive so why is this eight of wands here I do feel like there's a movement forward that is happening why is this eight of wands here I just say, oh shit. So we have the King of Cups with. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to be. Yeah, someone's going to find the strength to communicate. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in the space of being very happy. Maybe, and I'm for real, maybe even in a new connection. Because I definitely see Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles is a stable connection. I do see with the Two of Swords, there may be some mental conflict here. And I feel like the mental conflict may be because. Even though you're moving into the situation, there may be some unstable thoughts or some doubts. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? I feel like there is going to be harmonious change that is created just by the communication of those doubts. So if you have doubts, I do feel like there's kind of be like going to be like kind of a reevaluation that is going on. I do feel like someone's going to find the strength to either speak their truth or the strength to just move forward. I do feel like you're moving forward into something fortunate, and I do feel like you're creating harmonious change by communication. But it is time to be happy, and I feel like you're going to communicate that. So let's see what messages we have moving forward. Y'all, I'm sorry. This little thing be doing the most. I be trying to keep it together. But it's a little tabletop um, tripod, and it just be slippery all the time. What messages do we have for Taurus? Some spiritual law of attraction. What messages do we have for Taurus? Some on rising Venus moving forward. We have yoga. Freedom. And take charge of the situation with you can do it. Like I said, I do feel like there's going to be some communication. I do feel like it's going to propel you forward. There's going to be a reevaluation of a situation through communication. <laughs> all those Asians. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.